Hey, this is Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can use a smart suite form to update records that are already existing inside a smart suite. Now we've created videos on similar topics in the past, like our client portal video, or how we can use forms to create new records like contacts and accounts. But in this video, we want to tackle that topic of how do we update records that are already existing. Now, if you've used other kinds of form products in the past, you're probably familiar with the idea that forms are really good at creating new records. You fill out a form, you get new data that comes through that creates a record. But it's a little bit more mm, complicated or convoluted to be able to think about how we can update records because that's usually not a feature that happens out of the box. So we're gonna talk about this. I'm inside of SmartSuite. And just for this simple example, I have a contacts table. These are customers that we're working with. And in this use case, we wanna make sure that their information is up to date. So presumably we send them a form annually or periodically to be able to get that information from them. And in this form, we're asking them to update their information like their address if that's changed. So in order to do this, I've created this new table for form submissions. I've created a form and then I've added on a field. You can add several more fields to be able to update other pieces of that record as well. But the important part here is that we need some kind of unique identifier to make sure that we're finding the right contact record inside of the system. Now this will work with things other than just contacts, but I think this is a good example because our contacts, a unique identifier is typically something like an email address. So when someone fills out this form and they put in an email address, we should be able to find that contact record who matches on the email address to then be able to update their address information. So let's go ahead and take a look at what needs to be done on the backside from the automation to make this happen. We'll go ahead and click up at the top to our automations. And we have one that's already created. We're having this run on the submission of a form, a form submission event. And I've got it tied to my form submissions and this new form I created. And what we wanna do is be able to find records and we're gonna look for our contacts records. So instead of the form submissions, we're gonna look for that table of records that already exists. And within the contacts, we're going to say, if that email address on the contacts record contains the email address that now the user is inputting on the form, then it's going to go through, find those records, and now we need to update the record that it found. So ideally, it's just going to find that one record, that one contact record, and then we're going to tell it to take the address field and map it to the address from the form submission itself. Now, of course, if you have other fields, feel free to add as many other fields, but I thought this would just be a good example to show how it works. So once we've saved that automation, we are good to run it. We're gonna open up our form and remember that the email address right here is really important because we want to tie that to that contact record to find that correct contact record. So I can start to put in my team at automationhelpers.com email address, which should be able to find that contact record. I'm gonna go ahead and change the address here to something a little bit different. My address is since updated since the last time. Let's go ahead and submit that. And we'll head back into our contacts table here. And here's that Dan Lehman record. This is my old address. So in the background, there it goes. You can see that that address changed based off of that automation completing. So again, if we just head back into our automations, we know that this worked successfully, but remember you have the ability to see the history of that run to make sure that it completed. So I was able to find my contact record and then update the address. So I hope that's helpful for you. You might have other use cases, not just contacts. Maybe you wanna be able to update project records. You wanna update an opportunity. And this just gives you that flexibility that you need to be able to update records instead of always create a brand new record. If you have any questions about getting up and started with SmartSuite, feel free to reach out to us, automationhelpers.com, where we're offering a free 30-minute consultation.